Good morning and welcome to a very unexpectedly sunny Silverstone track day and it's also the first day of summer here in England. What I mean by that is the clocks went forwards yesterday which means we got another hour of sunlight uh, and to grace the occasion the sun has come out perfectly on time for this wonderful track day. Now I brought down the uh, 458 Speciali for what I would say is the christening of the track day season here in the UK but of course if you follow this channel regularly you'll know that this isn't the first track day of the year for me. I did uh, send the Speciali out to Dubai at the beginning of the year where I got to drive Yas Marina and the Dubai Autodrome. Just skip past these. I'm in a lot live pit lane uh, so there's cars driving all around me. Anyway uh, without further ado let's cue some b-roll show you some of the wonderful cars. Uh, we've also got a friend's very special car that he has taken delivery of today which I shall share with you shortly and then we're going to take the 458 Speciali out on Silverstone on this wonderful sunny day. Let's hit it. Surprise here, look who I found by the Lamborghini. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I've been filming other cars this morning. I'm sure you have, man. The first thing Paul said when I got here was surrounded by super guys. He goes, Have you seen that Lambo? Have you seen that Hogan? It's getting boring now, isn't it? <laughs> no, but to be fair, have you seen this thing? Um, I think Paul just accurately described it as a Venino Hurricane. Yeah. It is. It's the craziest thing, thing to. Oh. We need road cars that sound like this. Swiftly back to the track uh, after that uh, slightly unintended 360 degree spin. Um, yeah, it, it, it transpires that uh, Silverstone has been at resurface. That's no excuse, but it is a little bit slippier than expected. Anyway, just come back into the pits. Looks all casually parked up here. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's not often you see two Koenig takes in one, one week, but how is that? What a stunning surprise. Hypercars are all about the detail. You see this, what you would suggest is a metallic fleck within the, the paint. Um, no word of a lie, that is actually crushed diamonds. <laughs> True story. What's even cooler about it is the owner of the Koenigsegg uh, also has a matching BAC mono. Look at that. How amazing is this? Yeah. Try and get them both in frame. So, mono. This one doesn't have crushed diamonds in the paint, but you can see how the paint theme is replicated from the Koenigsegg to the mono. Just looks incredible. And to have them both here, practically next to each other, is so cool. The details on it as well are magnificent. This is the kind of thing that I think you don't see on photographs. So we often see these cars a lot obviously on the likes of Instagram and general social media. But when you get up close on them, they're out of this world.
just being a uh, a good friend, a good YouTube colleague, and taking some pictures for Paul don't, while he stood next to the. I <laughs> stood next to the Koenigsegg. How are those excellent photos, man? I'm just looking at them now. Yeah, they're, cool. They're, they're quite good. You might see one on. Might, might have like already it. seen one on Instagram. Maybe, actually. maybe. Yeah. And then this happened. <laughs> so Paul just reversed over my camera. I'm not sure. It's not really doing it any justice. How no. egg, egg shaped. That, no. that is, but needless to say, it's not uh, circular. It's, <laughs> it's not <laughs> circular. Yeah, never mind. Anyway, fortunately, Paul and I use identical cameras. <laughs> what are the chances? Um, so um, today we're kind of swapping cards, and then Paul's kindly said he's going to give me his camera. Uh, I've got to shoot off to Spain tomorrow to film some stuff. So thankfully, we have a backup camera which I'm filming on now. <laughs> What is that? What is that, man? Sony, Sony. can you help? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. If there was ever time for a brand deal, <laughs> now's the time. Now's the time. Can I have one too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he hasn't given me a perfectly working one. The uh, memory card slot's broken. He's like, don't worry, mate. You can have mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's under warranty. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, head back out on track. This is Ash's brand new BAC Mono. Look at it. I actually need to ask him the name of the color on this. I'm just gonna go with pink <laughs> for now. You gotta follow this guy on Instagram, at Supercar One Leg. Guy's got some fantastic cars. And as the Instagram account name would suggest, fascinating guy. I have to excuse the helmet hair as well. Uh, it's been a great day on track. Every time I get in that Speciali. Every time I get in that Speciali. Massive smile on my face. And Paul has currently uh, ran off to the other side of the track with what is now my camera. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna have to back up film on this and hopefully, if you guys don't mind, but I think it's worth it to show you that stuff. This is going back to vlogging days of old, back to my first vlogs where I was filming on an iPhone. Uh, backup camera, it's been great as a result of Wallace running over my camera, but I can't miss out on showing you this. We have uh, Koenigsegg, Gen 2 GT3, a brace of monos, We've got lots of very, very cool stuff. We're basically going to head out on track now uh, for what is looking like a very sexy photo shoot indeed. That Koenigsegg is just ridiculous. You forget the details of those things and how stunning they are until you get up close to them. It's just amazing. How's your mono experience, man? Absolutely, love it. Is it awesome? Have a go. I'd, I'd love to. I don't want to have a go on its first day. I just love seeing you drive yeah. past it. No, it's it stands out. It's, no, it's it. fantastic. Nothing yeah. like I've ever driven. And this is the upgraded engine, right? This yeah. is the 2.5. Congratulations. I think it looks it looks so special. Thank you. Really, really cool. But hopefully, I'd like to uh, yeah see no, it around soon. Could have a go in it. Oh, wicked! That'd be great, mate. Thanks a lot. Are you, are you going to drive it on the road someday? I'm going home in it today. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. driving it home. Yeah. What a legend. <laughs> right then, we're now out in a convoy with all of these guys for a, a, a photo shoot. We've got a uh, tracking camera car here. Let's go make some memories. Well, I never thought I would be filming on an iPhone again, but everybody go to Paul Wallace's Instagram and latest video and have a go at him for running over my camera. <laughs> Regardless, it's much simpler times. So yeah, in front of us, we've got some pretty special stuff. This incredible Koenigsegg up front. Ash's new BAC Mono in this iridescent purpley pink livery. We've also got a Gen 2 991 GT3. I just cannot wait for next month. I don't have a final date yet, but mine arrives next month sometime. I've seen a few here today and they look so good on track. And then it basically filters back in a in a convoy of epicness. There's a GT2 RS in front as well as a 488. It's bloody brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. And the sun is shining.
and this is why you get a car PPF'd. Um, today the car has taken somewhat of a rubber battering. This is what happens when you're on track. You get lots of pieces of rubber thrown up at you while you're traveling back towards them at over 100 miles an hour and as a result you're sort of the front of your car gets peppered. Fortunately PPF you're really easily able to get it off and it just shows how much of a beating it takes. The other thing the brakes are getting so hot that all of the salt that I picked up over the weekend at Bruntingthorpe is just baked onto it, like actually crispy. So I think we need another trip back to Signature Group. Uh, this is gonna have to sit now in the garage for a while. Uh, I am off to Spain with Michelin to drive a very interesting tire. All shall be revealed soon, but I'm very excited to bring that to you. Um, it's, I believe it's a world first, so stay tuned for that. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, please guys be sure to subscribe. There's lots more very awesome stuff coming. As always, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Ciao.